Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Or if this is your first time, welcome to the live stream and the channel. Travel Snacks, well, first of all, I'm Allison Sharp. <laughs> Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, staying connected with other people, being resourceful, and maybe living an alternative lifestyle, whether you want to live in a car, a van, a truck, a Jeep, a tiny home, a school bus, whatever. Whatever you want to do to get out of the house and just live free and try new things. Or if you can't, maybe just living vicariously through some of the nomads that do. So I just want to say welcome and let me check out this chat. Also, put my glasses on and get it popping. Hey, Paul, thank you so much. Grant's in the house. Grant's one of our moderators, so happy chat. Happy chat. What? <laughs> Happy snack chat Sunday. Hey, Adriana. Adriana is one of my new newest nomad friends. Her channel is Many Roads, No Rules. So if you haven't already, you should be following her on her journey. Um, let's see. Hey, Butterfly Tracks. Thank you for being here, Jan. Thank you so much. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Robbie's in the house. He's another one of our moderators. Uh, do you have extra butter for your popcorn? I hope so. <laughs> yes, I don't have any popcorn, but that's okay. Hey, Lend Lover. Oh, hey, Philip. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Philip. I'm going to talk about donations in a second, but let me give you a shout out real quick. Um, hold on a second. I got to send. the link to our mystery guest, which we're going to have in a little bit. Okay. Um, boop, boop. Hey, Ivana, two sisters in a cocktail. Thank you for being here. Uh, hey, Melanie, God bless you. Hey, La Nyla and Diane and uh, Adventures of Miss Peach, Joanna, long time no see indeed. Um, okay. Let me, give you uh, give you a shout out um oh no that's too low hold on i gotta give you a proper thank you so so much um hey quirky girl um before we get too involved uh if you're on this live stream hit the like button that lets youtube know that you like these live streams also if you're brand new subscribe because the snack pack is awesome. And also hit the notification bell because then you'll know every time we do these live streams, which are usually every Sunday, but every once in a while I'll do an impromptu live. Uh, and also you'll know every time I upload a new video, which I'm trying to do two to three times a week, but life's been getting in the way, so it's been crazy. Um, hey, Janet from the UK. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, um, hold on, I gotta send this link over to our mystery guest. Um. Hold on one second. Hopefully I don't lose this, but. Okay. 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 All right. So the link's been sent. Link's been sent. Um, there's so much going on already. We're just, it's a lot of partying going on right now. Um, hold on. I just got another <laughs> uh, donation from Diane. Thank you so much for the $5, Diane. Um, before we do any do more donations, though, hold on a second. Um, Oh, I see our mystery guest in the wings. I'm not going to tell you who this person is yet, though. Um, okay, before we get anything popping, um, let's take a take a take a moment of like to breathe. There's a lot going on in the world. There is a lot going on in the world, and just 
Last week, I wasn't able to do the live stream because as you guys know, my mom's been in the hospital. Um, she was in the hospital for a while and then they said she was going to, I guess I'll just give the update on my mom since I'm already talking about it. Um, she went to the hospital, for those of you that don't know, with a brain bleed. Uh, once she was in the hospital, they found a second brain bleed and then a couple of days later, they found multiple bleeds. So she's been going through a lot of stuff and they said she was going to be in the hospital for about three weeks uh, but after they did a spinal tap the next day they were like okay well she's going to go home now and we're like uh okay well what are we supposed to do hey jocelyn thank you for subscribing thank you for being here um so they just released her from the hospital and they were like she's just going to need to follow up with a neuro clinic um as soon as possible. So we were like, um, this seems like a bad idea because we're not professional caretakers, but they said they couldn't do anything further and she needed to go to the neuro clinic. So long story short, she couldn't get in till tomorrow. So she's been home um, for, I don't know how long, at least a week. And the first neuro appointment is tomorrow. So we're gonna find out more tomorrow, um, what's happening, what she needs to do. Um, she has a few things that they sent her home with in terms of things that she cannot do. She has to keep her blood pressure low, which she's not the type of person that has high blood pressure in general. Um, but she has to keep it low. So we're checking her blood pressure twice a day, sometimes more than that. Uh, she's on an anti-seizure medication, which because they're saying that, that what appears to be a stroke is not a stroke, it's seizures. And she needs to just make sure she doesn't have any falls or anything that could hit her head or anything like that. So those are just the basic things, but um, I don't really know too much more because we're waiting for that appointment for tomorrow. So I've been kind of hovering around my parents' house, just staying nearby, helping out um, until we find out more information. So I just want to thank you. And my mom told me to tell you guys, thank you for all the prayers. My mom and dad uh, told me to tell you that they are so appreciative um, it means so much to them that you guys are all just um, being so loving and encouraging. I've gotten messages from a lot of you, private messages, um, just so many great things and so, so, so very kind of you guys. So thank you for checking in on my mom. She's doing a lot better. Um, God, praise God because of a, uh, like such a healing because she is doing a lot better than she was. And so we're just uh, kind of taking it day by day. So that is the update on my mom um let's see let me scroll back a little bit hey terry's tenacious hey marjorie i'm giving a shout out to marjorie uh thanks for being here hey hdjkasa52 thank you terry thank you melanie thank you judy Thank you so much for everybody, all the prayers and support. Thank you so much. Uh, and on that note of uh, something else I wanted to talk about, um, well, real quick, let me talk about. So my plan currently is to just stay um, around my parents' house um, at, probably for another week or maybe two because at the same time, um, my dad and I are going to be doing some work on my van. Um, and there's also a couple of repairs that need to be done on my van at the mechanic, which I think I'm taking in tomorrow. So I won't have my van um, while these repairs are being done, um, which I'll talk about soon in a future video. Um, so let's just leave it at that. So this is a good time for me to be here for my family and also to get some stuff done on the van that I've been needing to get done. And so my plan Tentatively, depends on if everything goes well, my plan is to um, head out back on the road on April 1st, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. Um, and I think I'm going to start heading up to the mountain states like Idaho. So uh, that is the tentative plan, which I will keep you guys posted as soon as I know more, especially after tomorrow's uh, appointment with my mom. Um, let's see. Thank you, Ivana. Hey, ES. Uh, awesome. Yes. Um, okay. So the next thing that I want to talk about is, um, 
I don't watch the news because it's too darn depressing, but something is happening in the world that's unavoidable and it's heartbreaking. And this channel, we're not talking about politics. We're not talking about anything. Um, this channel is, especially the live streams, we like to hit, like keep it up deep, upbeat and light. And we, this is a time for us to come together and just like laugh and be supportive of each other. But when something is happening in such a high level uh, that you can't, you can't help it. Like I can't help but say something about this. And obviously what's happening in the Ukraine is awful. And it's just something that needs to be kind of like, I don't know. It's just, it's something that needs to be out talking about because it's, it affects everybody. And when it affects other human beings and the livelihood of other being human beings, it's something that's close to my heart as well. Um, I have friends, especially Ivana, one of my best friends, Ivana, she's Ukrainian. Um, I knew, I kind of knew that Grant was half Ukrainian, but it slipped my mind until he told me again today that our moderator Grant is half Ukrainian. Um, he sent me a bunch of stuff that there's more Ukrainian um, community in Canada than even the United States. Um, Ivana has been sending me some information about her family in the Ukraine and what's been going on and that even um, people in other parts of the Ukraine that's not getting like directly uh, bombed and stuff, um, they can't, they're like the transportation system is all wrecked up. People can't work. People are wanting to like stay and fight for their families. Um, you know, the men in the family are going to fight. The women are trying to help and like in different ways to help cook and just whatever. So um, what I decided to do for today is any donations that come in today on March 6th during this live stream and the rest of the day, um, I'm going to be donating that to um, causes that are going to be helpful to, to like Ukrainian refugees. Um, also Ivana, um, her family, um, that's a, those several families directly like, I don't even know, I think it was like nine families. Um, that's a direct help for them, people that can't work or can't, you know, get whatever they need. Um, there's a lot of different, that's my reminder to drink water. So stay hydrated. There's a lot of different organizations and I encourage you if you don't want to donate here, that's totally fine. I think you should, you know, Google where you can send money if you can, if you feel called to do that. Um, Grant is going to post some links to a few places to donate if you're a Canadian. Um, and in other countries, I don't know what's available, but you can search up on Google. Um, but I think just from the outside looking in, the best thing that we all can do is probably donate financially because there's a lot of people that just need, they need help, clothing, food, water, a uh, place to stay and, uh, you know, just everything, you know, everything that you can think of. The whole situation is terrible. And also on a little side note, I don't like when people are saying, well, you know, um, F Russia or like we hate Russians because it's not everybody. And I don't like when people generalize, like, Obviously, there's certain people in power. Yes, you can say F those people and the people that are causing this this stuff to happen. But I don't like to take it to the whole point of like grouping everybody together because it, it's a, it affects a lot of people, all different countries and everywhere. Um, so let's try to stay tolerant and peaceful towards one another. But at the end of the day right now, who needs the most help? Ukrainians. So um I know you guys have always been very supportive of me and God always provides for me. So I think that people in this situation need donations more than me for now. So I wanted to just any donations that come through the, the people that donated so far, if you don't want your money to go to that, then just send me a message and that's fine. Uh, but anything from here on, <laughs> any donations that comes today, I'm going to be going towards towards these kinds of efforts. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me just scroll back a little bit. Hey, John, I would, I am going to be coming to Colorado. That's one on my, that's on my plan. It is very sad. Uh, hey, Charlotte, thank you very much for the prayers. 
um, Robbie, travel snacks is a family and a non-political. Please refrain from saying, yes, we're not going to be talking about politics. Uh, yes, it is such a sad situation. Um, it's too unfair and those souls deserve our thoughts and prayers. Yes, prayers for Ukraine. Thank you so much uh, to Allison and the snack pack. I need a reminder to drink more water. That's great. Yes, thanks. Janice, yes. It, like ever since, especially when I had COVID, I have to stay hydrated. Um, thank you, Grant, for posting those links. So if you're Canadian and you want to donate, those are two excellent uh, resources there. Uh, Ivana says, I can't say enough about your support. I have tears right now. Thank you so very much for using your platform to provide support. I love you and the snack bag. I love you very much, Ivana. And it is heartbreaking. It's kind of feels bad that there's not much more that we can do in America um, or in Canada or wherever. Um, but the best that we can do is to to be supportive and to to give whatever we can give. And we all have so much. I know I have so much. Um, let's see. Yes. Uh, if you donate directly to me, I'm going to be talking to Ivana and we're going to figure some stuff out uh, to get it to a great, you know, resource. Thank you, Terry. Is tenacious for the $5. Thank you very much. Uh, tiny bug home uh, how about we all collectively send love and healing energy for all those suffering souls that have been affected by yes exactly uh, for all of you that are you know believers pray and for all the you that want to send any healing sources or whatever uh, do whatever you feel called to do um, people are people and people need our help so let's go amen to that um, so let me give a quick shout out to um, so Gilberto sent sent five dollars so I want to send a uh, Let's see. And Terry is tenacious. Let's give you Thank you guys so much. Um All right. So, uh I don't want to uh, this is a very very important um thing to to keep on our minds and hearts. Um, but we are going to move on in the live stream because we are going to keep things light because you guys can probably watch the news and see on social media and everything so much of what's going on. And um, I wouldn't say to, to, to stay soaked up in the news because it can be very heavy and depressing, but um, definitely keep your hearts and prayers uh, for this situation and for those that are super struggling right now. Um, but we are gonna move on um, to something new on the channel. Um, and oh, thank you, Judy, so much. Uh, let me give you, oh, I might give you a, a yodel. Thank you so much, Judy. I'm also getting a message. Um, okay, so Gilbert, Gilberto sent $5. Um, Joanna sent uh, $20 for the Ukraine for the Ukraine. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Joanna. And Joanna's channel is Adventures of Miss Peach, so follow her channel um, as well. And then um, oh, Grant just sent $50 for the people of Ukraine. Thank you so much, Grant. Uh, it's it's so awesome just for all the support um, for everybody. So uh, let me give a shout out to Joanna. And then Grant has a special sound. Thank you so much to all the donations. Um, if you feel like donating anytime during the live stream, you can, um, or even any time today, you know, anything that comes through today by email or by Venmo or Cash App or PayPal or any of those things. You can find all those links on the description of all my videos. Um, feel free to donate today. And again, feel free to, you know, you don't have to go through me. I'm just saying I'm going to collect whatever I collect and I'm going to talk with Ivana and we're going to get it sorted out. Um, but if you feel called to do it in other places, just do a Google search because there's several different organizations that are really focused on uh, this. And also one last thing about this is that I did already part personally donate to um, 
Airbnb because Airbnb has a program where they help refugees, not only for the Ukrainian community, but also whenever there's like disasters and stuff, they have a fund um, for that. So I donated to Airbnb because it's kind of a travel thing and it kind of goes along with something that's, you know, kind of fits in my lifestyle and things I'd like to support. Um, so Airbnb is another way that you can be supportive as well. Um, so thank you guys all for the donations and, um, and yeah. So let's, let me look real quick. Um, <laughs> Robbie wants a special sound. I need to get some new sounds because I feel like I've been using the same ones. So I might try a new, another new app. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Hey, Lori. Thank you so much. Yes, God is good all the time. Thank you, Grant, for posting those links. Um, Mike says, I got a Fart World app for my sound machine. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, let's see. Yes, also, um, hey, Mary Jill Brinkold. Um, awesome. Okay, so we're going to uh, move on to having our mystery guest. But before we do, um, yes, me and Two Sisters and a Cocktail is my friend Ivana. We're going to chop it up after the live stream or maybe tomorrow and just make sure that the money gets to the right places. Um, she personally has lots of family in the Ukraine. And a lot of times it is a great idea to send directly to specific families because the, the wiring fees are expensive. And the she was said, telling me like how the dollar um, compared to the Ukraine, um, what is it called? Like uh, exchange rate is the Ukraine uh, money is down really. So it's, it's kind of better to send directly to families that you know is in need instead of these bigger organizations, which is still great. But I've, obviously, if you know somebody that's in need, for sure, it's better to give directly. So we'll, we'll figure it out. So I appreciate that. Um, Paul D. Andrews, I think you already donated. But hey, I'm going to give you another shout out because I can't remember if I did. And Lund Lover is given five dollars. He shoots, he scores. And also, I just got a message from what? I got a message with a donation from oh from ann thompson for 25 dollars. thank you so much ann let me give you a shout out let's give you thank you so much all these donations are going to be so helpful like when i think about getting these donations i think about helping families that you know are stuck uh either in their home like a lot of times people are like oh just leave but sometimes people aren't able to leave if the airport has been blown up or the transportation system shut down people can't get to work i mean it's just on and on and just thinking about like people that has to leave their homes to go like in shelters and like it's a whole so all these donations every dollar really helps um let's see thank you guys very much um, let's see. I heard that a lot of people are booking Airbnbs in the Ukraine to get. Yes, that's another thing you could do. You could book book an Airbnb and then release it, and Airbnb can or the host can use it for whoever they need. Um, thank you guys so much. They have no intentions of going to the Ukraine, but this is yes, exactly. You don't have to go to the Ukraine if you book an Airbnb directly in Ukraine. You can just tell the host, "I don't need it," but give the room to whoever. So that's another option. Hey, Thomas Veteran. Thank you for being here. Okay, awesome. All right, so does anybody want to give a guess who the mystery guest is? Uh, because we're going to move on to that portion because I think it's going to be a fun time. Last time we were on live stream, we tried doing a mystery guest, just like a quick thing. We had two people come on real quick, and it was really fun. So um, today is, is a, a guest that I know personally. Um, and I'm very excited because I'm going to talk to this person and just ask a few questions. Um, and then we're going to play a couple games and then we'll, you know, talk with the snack pack about the games as well. Um, 
let's see, I'm getting also another alert. Oh, Thomas Farmer sent $30. Thank you so much, Thomas. Let me give you a shout out. Thank you so, so much. All the donations are going to go to a great, great cause. Okay. Um, <laughs> Robbie, I think it's going to be <laughs> sugar crystal candy corn, candy crystal corn. <laughs> Uh, HDJKSA52 says Allison Sharp's dad. Uh, hey, happy camp, happy place camping. Um, Ivana says, I'm so excited about this mystery guest. I have no clue. Yeah, even Ivana doesn't know. Um, thank you so much, Rachel. Um, yes, thanks, Charlotte. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best move. Um, Reverend RV, my guess is Grant Hooli Hoop. <laughs> It's not Grant. Grant is going to be a mystery guest one time, and I'm going to try to see if Ivana wants to be a mystery guest one time as well. But it's not that, not either of those. Does anybody have any other guesses? I'm going to give like one more minute, and let me text my mystery guest to make sure that he or she is ready to come on. Hey, Olena, thank you so much for the $10 donation. I'm going to give you a... Thank you so much. It's going to go to a great cause and family for um, what's going on in the world. Um, thank you, Lori. Um, thank you, Lund Lover, for your guests. Uh, let me make sure that this person is ready. All right, um, let's get a drum roll going. Let's get a drum roll. Oh, also real quick, uh, Olena is Ivana's cousin. So that's a little, she's not my mystery guest, but I just wanted to read that out. George Clooney, if I know knew George Clooney, we'd be having a lot of other like celebrity guests on Travel Snacks, but we're not at that level yet. Um, all right, so, oh, Terry is tenacious. Is, give another $5. Hold on. Thank you so much, Terry. All right, here's a drum roll. The mystery guest is Ivana guessed it. It's my son, Marcus. So let's welcome Marcus to the stream. Ooh, How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing on this fine, what is it, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Hey, good everybody. How's everybody doing? Usually that's uh, Grant's special sound when he donates, but I'm going to also share it with you because hey, you're on. Everybody can hear me all good and it's all, it's all good over there? Yeah, can everybody hear Marcus, hear and see Marcus? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up to the squad? Marcus, we got H chat? HD. We got Terry. We got Rachel. We got the OG, Big Grant up in the building. What's good, Diane? How's everybody doing on this fine afternoon? Ooh, ooh. Awesome. Yeah. So Should drink your water. Drink your water. Everybody stay hydrated. Okay. So, um, I bet let's go. So, this is our first. Marcus is our first mystery guest, and yeah. there's. A, oh, hold on a second. I got to give shout outs when people are donating. So, Marcus, I don't know if you heard, but hey. donations today are going for. Everybody, donate. We got to support our. Just everybody in the world, but definitely this time we got to support our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. Amen. Amen to that. Thank you, Tracy, so much. Um, I'm running out of sounds that I haven't used already, but. Right on, right on, right on. Um, so for those of you that don't know, this is my son, Marcus Sharp. He also has a YouTube channel called Sharp Sports, where he talks about football and mainly what, Marcus? Like mainly just high school, high right? School. High school is like my main focus. I'm branching out more into like college, but high school is like the main, my main area of expertise. Yes. Thank you again, Terry, so much. <laughs> 
Uh, Marcus does have a radio voice. His channel is I really great. That. Uh, yeah. If you do like sports, especially if you like football, go check out his channel. Um, but I wanted to bring Marcus on because, you know, you guys have seen a few videos with me and Marcus, and we always chop it up and have a good time. We talk on the phone a lot. Um, he lives in Dallas, Texas, uh, with his awesome dog, Neo. Yeah, is he's, he he's sleep like right here. Oh, <laughs> you get, when, maybe when he we, wakes up. Yeah. We just got back from the, we just got back from the park. So he's a little tired. Yeah. So during this, this is like the first mystery guest. So we're going to try different things. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kylie says I subbed once, but he dissed my bangles. I had to drop. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> hey, yo, Joe Shiesty's my guy. Joe Shiesty and Jamar. Oh, I know when I've dissed y'all. Is when y'all is when y'all picked up Jamar Chase. That was my bad. That was my bad because clearly Jamar Chase panned out for y'all. But is that better? I like need to go protect y'all quarterback. Y'all, y'all gotta go get some offensive line help. <laughs> Do you guys like this one better or this one? Pure, pure, pure. <laughs> Hey, that we saw. Welcome to the snack. Jerry pack. Kramer. The last name sounds familiar. Jerry Kramer, Green Bay Packers. That oh, that's your uncle. Hey, I appreciate oh. you dropping the link, Grant. That's what's up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Grant Why and Bobby are moderators, so bam. But all right. Um hey, uh C A V sixty. This one, the wide angle's better. Oh, and Terry likes the close one. All right, well, we'll just keep mixing it up. Yeah, we'll um, we'll, we'll do the wide angle. We have democracy over here. <laughs> Rachel. Uh, all right, awesome. So, um, one thing I want to talk to you about today, Mark, and I, we're gonna tr I'm gonna try to keep up with the chat, but uh, I'm gonna it's gonna be a little bit. I got the chat up. I got the chat open too. So okay. Um, so one of the things I want to talk to you about, Marcus, is that you know. I'd say some of our people on the chat are nomads and some of them are not, but um, Marcus is really into fitness. He's been really motivating me and giving me a little tough love about getting back on my fitness. Um, and so obviously one of the most important things is to stay hydrated. We've been talking about that, but also like on the road, you know, sometimes it's hard for nomads to, to stay in a healthy way, but also that's kind of an excuse because since you are, are out on the road, you can take more walks and stuff like that. But what would you say for nomads to, or even people at home to like, cause a lot of, don't get me wrong. Like you're young, Marcus, you're 25. So, you know, you got that like youth going on, but a lot of like me and a lot of our snack packers are, you know, getting a little yeah. up there in our, in our ages. So what would you say? Like some of your tips for fitness and health? So definitely the number one thing that I see holds a lot of people back is needing to have everything be perfect. It's like, oh, if I don't go to the best gym and if I don't have all the equipment that I need and oh, I saw this one workout video, but she had a different kettlebell than the one that I have. And oh, I don't have those fancy workout clothes. Like it doesn't need to be perfect. Like that saying, like improving 1% every day, like it really does go a long way. So like, oh, like the gyms are closed in my area. That's okay. Most parks are open like there's a there's a park maybe five ten minutes away from me uh it has a walking track um obviously said your audience a little bit older but they have like pull-up bars they have um like places that you can step up onto i mean it's about just finding ways to use different variations of workouts like you don't need a squat rack you can do body weight squats i mean calisthenics just doing all body weight work goes a very very long way and so definitely just not needing to have everything be perfect you know you don't need to all of a sudden cut out every single last sweet that you eat you got to go straight keto like just take it one day at a time like okay instead of eating chips i'm gonna replace that with something healthy i'm just gonna cut it out entirely just taking like one step at a time it goes a lot it goes a long way and it, it's more sustainable than just trying to like shock your body into just I'm healthy now. Like, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. One of the comments that says, all that peeing is a bit of a problem being a nomad. I got so dehydrated in quartzite. Yeah. Yeah. That That is one, like, this is a 32 ounce water bottle. I probably go through four or five of these a day. And yeah. Uh, 
yeah, you kind of got to go. For, for all my lady <laughs> travel snackers, tra- travelers out there, it's, hey, it is what it is. I mean, listen, like everyone's everyone's rig is different. Like some people live in cars, some people live in vans. So for me, now that I have my van, I have, you know, my built-in toilet. But before that, I had my car. And, you know, the ones that are OGs on this channel know that I tried the little pee funnel and even tried diapers because the bottom line is you got to go when you got to go. But staying hydrated is more important than feeling foolish. So if if it comes down to it and you have to do what you got to do, if that's the lifestyle that you choose, you can do it. Um, Obviously, if you're a guy, you have a little more kind of a little more options. But also, um, I wish I had it. It's in my van right now. But. Um, they have like Shiwis and Go Girls and stuff like that. And it's like a personal little funnel that you can just, if you're in the desert, you could just stand up and go pee. So there's definitely a lot of options um, if you need to do that. Also for, for Tiny, um, you'll, you'll see what my mom means by tough love. Tiny, procrastination, I was the same way. If you really want to do it, you'll do it. It's it's simple as that. Before I I wasn't working out like like I I recently started working out like heavy maybe two three months ago and I'm already starting to see the results of it. But before I would wake up and like I'd be like oh man you know I want to go to the gym but I just go and play some video games or I'd watch YouTube or I'd watch Netflix. But now it's like a priority in my life. So it's like if you want to if you want to change you'll just change like like not like you'll you'll realize when you start working out that nothing about you changed other than you just wanted to actually do it so yeah keep keep that mindset don't don't like yeah procrastination is just not prioritizing one thing over another it's true um even len lover just said the hardest part of exercising is just putting on your shoes and just doing it and you literally just have to like just say and and one other tip that um i think my friend angel just told me is like you could just tell yourself, like, if I want a donut, I can be like, you know what, maybe next time. Like, you don't have to say you're never gonna have a donut ever again. You can just say, you know what, not today, maybe next time. And then your brain will be like, oh, I'm going to get it, but I'm just going to delay getting that. So you don't have to, you know, to do that all the time. And, also, I want to get start slow too. like that was always an issue with me. Like whenever I'd come back to the gym, I'm like, I haven't been to the gym in six months. I need to make it all up in the first workout that I do. And then I'd be sore for four weeks and then I wouldn't want to go back to the gym. So, I mean, even even just walking into the gym, 10 minutes on the treadmill, 15 minutes on the treadmill at like a slight incline and then leave. And then the next day, come back 10 to 15 minutes on the treadmill at a slight incline and then leave and do that for a week straight. Because you're not trying to get your body used to working out. You're trying to get your mind used to just going to the gym. And then you'll be like, yeah, you know, feel pretty good. And then and then you do 10 minutes on the on the incline. And then you maybe do five minutes on the Stairmaster. And then you do that for another week. And then you're like, oh, okay, like I'm, fe- I'm feeling good. And then you're like, I don't even want to eat like a heavy burger or whatever it is. Like whatever food is, it is like, I don't even want to eat that after I work out. And then... It, it's just building a habit. Like it's not about trying to get in shape just for the sake of getting in shape. It's like living a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. So yeah. like, yeah, it's different for everybody, but yeah. Let me give a shout out to Don Don for the $20 donation. <laughs> Thank you, Don Don so much. It's going to go to a great cause. Um, also, back to your point about just doing like a little bit. I know sometimes like when Marcus told me, just go five minutes on that Stairmaster, I'm like, five minutes? I I can't even do like one minute on that Stairmaster. <laughs> so if you can only do one minute, just do one minute. Like once you're there doing it, you could do one minute, hop off that, you know, go do a little couple dumbbells and go back on for another minute. You don't have to do the most, but staying active is what I'm really trying to be like more training my brain to be active. Like, I said that once I was off this live stream, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to take a walk just around the block at my parents' house. I don't want to. I don't. After I'm done with this live stream, I'm not going to want to, but I'm going to do it because it's going to build that habit of getting back into doing the walking. Definitely. Read some of these comments. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it's like everybody... I, I dash dash I, I don't know the the names 
out for me. But the person who says high intensity interval training is uh is worked better for me. Like e- like everybody's at like a different state. Like I could recommend like my workout and like, but I know everybody can't do that. So it's like it's it's really important to find just basic movements. Like I, I always recommend compound movements. So your squat, um, if you have the time to going for long runs, um, depending on what you're trying to do, uh, you can do bench push-ups or push-ups are a great replacement to bench. If you're just getting back started, um, finding a, a like a outside table and just doing step ups onto the seat, like all those things work wonders, absolutely wonders. And it doesn't have to be, Oh, I don't have the fancy Bowflex cable machine that the lady on the TV has. It's like, like just like anything is better than and, and doing anything is always going to be more efficient and more effective than not doing it because you don't have like the perfect start. You mean I can't fit a Peloton in my van? Hey, you know, I mean, shoot, that'd be a nice way to get the generator in. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> And Adriana says you have to keep doing it for at least 21 days so your brain gets used to doing it. Yo, Rebel, I've I've been hearing about this carnivore only diet. I've so I used to be a vegetarian for a long time, like 3 years, and like I, I felt like all right, it wasn't like anything changed, but and everybody could do your own research. Everybody do your own research. Eating meat's important. Like it's it's very important it's not I, I know for some people like for dietary reasons it's smarter to like cut back on on meat but like if you don't have any dietary restrictions stay stay up on some good animal protein obviously get healthy organic if you can afford it like whatever but like yeah it, I've, I've heard really good things about carnivore only diets and I'm on the other thing. I'm a, I'm on that plant based diet, but I I do eat a little bit of meat sometimes, and I don't feel bad about it. I just I think everyone has to do with like the thing that yeah, find out what works best for you. Yeah. What do you want to say about this? Rachel Joan Fleming says Marcus about the body shaming at the gym. She says I ran into body shaming when I went to the gym. Did a lot better when I just started walking and doing calisthenics. Um, when you say body shaming, um. I mean, personally, I've I've like never like for me, and you, you can ask my mom. Like, I'm I'm very I'm very critical on people because like I want people to be the healthiest version of themselves. But I've and again, I'm not trying to discredit your personal experience, but like in in my experience, I've never seen anybody body shame anybody at the gym. Like, I think and again, I'm I'm not trying to discredit this I'm, i think it's just more of a mental thing like literally nobody really looks at anybody in the gym everybody's there battling their own demons the 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 fittest like the fittest person in the room the person that you're like man i really wish i had their body they're like oh my god if i don't work out every single day people are not gonna like me because i'm the i'm the fitness guy and like everybody's battling their own everybody's battling their own thing everybody's kind of in, in there doing their own thing but at the end of the day everybody knows that is in the gym they're all trying to get better. They're all trying to improve their physical health. And so, hey, oh, go in there, throw, you, throw your AirPods on, throw some sunglasses on, throw the blinders on, and just, and just do your thing. Like, don't don't care about nobody else. Cause, because when you go to the gym for uh, six months, a year, whatever oh, it is, you you're still seeing results. Whoever was body shaming, you can't say nothing. It's funny. because And also, saying- it's coming from a place of weakness on their side. So it's they have a, the bigger issue than the other way around. That's so true. She, yeah. she's saying that it's women doing the, um, it's like women can be very catty. Like I'm I, a guy. I'm, I'm going to stay over here on the guy side. Hey, you know, as, as a guy, your- I always, I always love lift everybody, my men and my, and my women up in the gym. Y'all are doing good. Y'all are getting y'all stuff together. But again, it's coming from a place of insecurity on there. Like, Oh, like always understand that whenever somebody has something negative to say, especially when you're actively improving yourself, it is 100% coming from a place of insecurity for them. So instead of internalizing it, you can just feel bad for them because they got to go to sleep with that negative attitude. You can just leave. Oh, you, wow, you, you you felt real bold wearing wearing those tights to the gym today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working. On, I, actually have a, I actually have a smaller pair that I'm working to get into. 
have a good one. Exactly. Keep it pushing, bro. Like it's like, and I know, I know it's not easy. I know that that like it. I've I've had a long time to like really develop my confidence, but it's like when you understand that like when people have those negative remarks, it is a hundred percent coming from places of insecurity, depression, or whatever on their side. You just don't really care yeah. about what they have to say. Because people, like, if you're at the gym, people should be like, wow, that's great. Like, you're being active. Like, nobody should be like, oh, look at her, you know? Like, yeah. that's crazy. Um, Grant says, I lost 40 pounds by simply eating properly and exercising. Eat what you want, everything in moderation, which is something I was doing. Get your macros in. Real real, real quick, if you if you guys want, if you guys want to scientify or whatever, your, your, um, your meal planning like if you have access to like really set up a meal plan um go to what is it's called um what is it called I, I always know this thing off the top of my head it's your energy signature calculator is it tde TDE. Yeah, TDE. That's that's what it is. So, okay. Thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, if there's one thing that I learned from college, type in TDEE -E calculator. It, it stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. And pretty much what this what this calculator in this website does is whether whether you go to the gym or not, your body naturally burns calories just functioning. So you put all your measurables in, you put your activity level, your your height, weight, your estimated body fat percentage, and it lets you know how many calories a day that you need to eat just to replace the calories that your body is burning. And then you can adjust your you can adjust your calorie numbers off of there. So you don't need to hire a personal trainer or like a nutritionist to find these numbers. Like you can just get a ballpark estimate of it and it'll let you know your macros. So how many grams of protein, how many grams of fat and how many grams of carbs that you should be eating. And then, um, yeah, you can kind of tell like, again, focus on starting and then you can start adding these things on, on the back end to really start, um, seeing results a little bit more efficiently. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, um, we're going to move on from the fitness talk. Uh, but yeah, I think the main point is just to get started somehow and just me work on your mentality about it. Cause that's going to be the number one way to keep Definitely. it going. Um, second of all, what were your feelings or even today, but when I first told you I was going to start living in a car, like back, back in 2019, like what were your feelings and what are your feelings now that I do this full time? So at first. I don't know. I didn't like I like I always knew that you wanted to travel. Like you always said that you wanted to travel. And like as soon as me and Justin moved out, like you said that you wanted to travel. And so. I don't know. I was just like, all right, she's traveling. She's doing her thing. She did what she she did what she wanted to do. And then when you went and like built the whole van, I felt a lot better, actually, because it was like, OK, the van's more secure. You're going to have more space. You're going to be a lot more comfortable. Like I've slept in my car before, like not out of necessity like i've like gone to like a friend's house or whatever and like i couldn't spend the night over there or whatnot but um you know it, it gets a little uncomfortable pretty quickly so definitely when i knew that you built your van it was cool and then i mean yeah you're out there you're, you're doing your thing you, you got your channel going i mean you got all these amazing people out here supporting and so hey i mean I like shoot there's times where i wish i had a van that i could just hop into and go travel around in so that i can like do my work that I want to do like across the country. Like, yeah, like I know, I know, I know it gets uh, strenuous sometimes. And like, obviously I want you to have like, at least like one like solid location to always go back to. But I mean, being going around and just traveling, like that's cool. Yeah. What would you give advice to people that like are thinking about doing the nomad life, but they say like, oh, my family wouldn't understand or like, my family's going to make fun of me or whatever. What would you say to those people? You got to live life for yourself. Like, but like, not that, not that cut and dry. Like at, like at the end of the day, you always got to go to sleep with yourself. Like you always got, like, you have to be able to go to sleep and like be okay with your actions. So 
like but also do a do a mental evaluation as to like why you want to do these things like like are do you want to travel because you genuinely want to travel or are you trying to escape from something mm. or like are you in genuinely interested in like the nomadic life or do you just not like the life that you're currently in like really do excuse me really do like an evaluation because as i'm sure my mom has been telling you like it's a it's a big jump like it's not like it's like whenever you watch one of those videos of somebody camping and like oh man they're just out in the woods you know just they're catching fish having fun and then like you're seeing like 10 minutes and then as soon as that camera cuts off it's like okay it's raining and it's cold <laughs> and like and life still goes on so um See, I, I definitely I do it how come my mom did it, you know, start small, you know, take a take a month, two month trip out somewhere. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to have like a full on six figure RV to get it done. Like, you know, just take some time, you know, go travel, see if there's something that you actually like. And then if it is something that you like, invest in yourself, you know, go out there and do it. And if people don't understand it. OK, they they got to go live their own life. I mean. This things are like, like, I know for me, like, I don't understand, like, like people who go to like college, but like, I understand that it works for some people. It didn't work for me. So just because it doesn't work for like, just because something doesn't work for the other person doesn't mean that they have to shame you for it. Right. Yeah, it's true. Like, I was going to do this, like, regardless, because like you said, I have like a nomadic spirit. So like, I don't like to just sit sit in the house all day every day it just makes me feel depressed um but thank god that you guys were all supportive i think mostly um like my mom and dad and you guys were like as long as you're safe that's all that we care yeah about. That, that was that was always my biggest thing but but see when, when you got god in your corner and you know that you know that god's looking out like i at first, I was like, "Oh," and then it's like, "God, God loves her more than I love her. She's she's very well taken care of." So yeah, yeah, that was my whole thing. Is like, God's got it covered, regardless, you know. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, welcome, Brenda Lee. And um, when we're doing these uh, mystery guests, I'm realizing I'm not gonna be able to read all the comments like I usually do, but I'm seeing a lot of them. So thank you guys for chit chatting amongst yourselves and. And everything um thank you robbie uh let's see first time here dash dash also uh, if you haven't already leave the live stream a like yeah leave the live stream a like my peoples yes thank you thank you um god is in your corner and everything yes indeed amen uh, that's ivana marcus two sisters in a cocktail what's up ivana how are you doing <laughs> uh, i eat way too Lund much Lund 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 lover. lover yeah um find alternatives like because i have a bad sweet tooth one of the things that's helped me out go get you some wheat bread or you can go get um like caramel rice cakes throw some peanut butter on there throw some some fruit you can get bananas strawberries blueberries fresh fruit really helps curb that sugar craving so if you can add like the peanut butter is satiating the you're going to get the sweetness from the fruits and then obviously like that's always going to be more healthy than just like i don't know a donut or whatever <laughs> and you know what else just recently helped me out is because obviously you guys know all the snack packers that have been around for a long time know i like have a massive sweet like i like everything sugary sweet um, and one thing that's helped me is to either buy them already cut up or like one day cut up a bunch of like fruits. If it's available to me to just grab it, uh, then I can just go for that. Like last night I was like, had dinner, but then I was like, oh, I want something sweet. So I just cut up an apple, put like a little like small blob of peanut butter and just, you know, ate the apple with the peanut butter. And it was really satisfying. Like I obviously wanted like, you know, a brownie or something, but yeah, it's, when you like i don't know when you decide to make some better choices and you say you know what i don't have a brownie so i'm gonna eat something that's more healthy then let's go grant whoop, 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 whoop. Grant, whoop, whoop. grant already <laughs> donated but okay this is for a great cause all the donations today for those that just joined are going to uh the ukraine um so <laughs> open those wallets for the people of ukraine Ooh, ooh, thank you, Grant, so much. That's going to be very helpful. 
Um, let's see. Yes, God is great. Oh, you um, can you can probably see my my little child right there now. Yeah, little he, bubbles. He's asleep. <laughs> little sweetie. Um, peanut butter toast helps my sugar craving. Yeah, peanut butter's peanut good. butter. Peanut butter is the greatest thing ever. Like I'm telling y'all, it is satiating. Um, if you get good peanut butter, you can know you can get it with a lower fat content. It has really good protein numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Terry said hers is strawberries. Uh, let's see. I'm 72, so I pretty much eat what I want. <laughs> I mean, hey. Hey, you you got to 72. You deserve that. <laughs> Which, do what you want. <laughs> Do you, boo boo? All right, we're gonna move on to um, just we're gonna do a couple games because we're getting close to the hour mark. Um, so cool. we're gonna kind of do something that I just thought of today. Of we're gonna do like who knows me better, Marcus or my snack pack. Y'all are going down. I don't know what y'all thought. <laughs> hey, I got so, I got my years up on all y'all. Holla at me, <laughs> <laughs> Marcus. Get a piece of paper and a pen. Okay. Hey, is it Kavi sixty or Kavi? Kavi Kavi sixty donated twenty five through super chat. Let's see. Um, let's give you. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Uh, Grant is from Canada as a as a high rank moderator. Um, oh, Vanessa. Okay, good. Nice to nice for you to be here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask a question, um, and I'll let the snack pack answer first what they think the answer is, and it's going to be about me, uh, certain things, and then Marcus, write down your answer, and then after that, you could show what you wrote, so we'll see if gotcha. it matches. Um, hey, Joanne from Ontario, awesome, or Lake Ontario, so Elliot Lake Ontario. Um, you might be yeah. in trouble because the snack heck, snack has been tight in the very short period of time. Bam. <laughs> Robbie says I call Grant Sheriff. Hey, we'll That's we'll good. we'll see. We'll see, Ivana. We'll we'll, we'll see. These are pretty we'll, easy we'll... ones, so I think all of you are gonna get it because I just thought of this hey. today. Yes, Joanne, he's my son, he's my older son, uh Marcus. Um, so the first one is gonna be super easy. What is my favorite candy? Candy or dessert? Candy. Write that. Write it down, Marcus. Okay, so. Oh, that's. Oh what yeah. What am I? What am I talking about? What am I talking Thank about? Thank you, First Talk Feathers, for being here. Thanks for the blessings. Did you write it down, Marcus? Yup. Okay. Uh, Rebel and Lori are coming through with Reese's. Anybody else? Rebecca says Reese's. Uh, that we saw. Do you have a home now? Congrats. No, I don't have a home. Uh, this is my parents' home. My mom has been sick, so I've been here helping to care for her. Um, I don't have a home anywhere else, only my van. Uh, Diane says red licorice. Uh, Thomas says Reese's peanut butter cups. Terry says Reese's. Um, Rachel Joan Fleming, little pieces of chocolate goodness called Reese's. Anyone else? Uh, Vanessa says peanut butter cups and Kit Kat bars. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone? <laughs> Marcus, what'd you put? Reese's, Reese's peanut, peanut butter cups. <laughs> you Yo. guys are all right. <laughs> you guys Yo. are both tied. Snack pack and Marcus both. Nah, because y'all don't understand. <laughs> During Thanksgiving and like Christmas time, their grandma always puts out a bowl. And then you'll just you'll just see just you'll you'll just hear just like just cringling, just da -da -da -da, all the candies moving around, and then all of a sudden there's no more Reese's in there. And then, it, but see, if, there's a trick. If you're ever if you're ever there, all you gotta do is just go into the freezer, and you'll find a couple. But those are like the real ones, so you might actually get you might get clapped up for it. Yeah. So all oh, I'm I'm dumb, bro. <laughs> what? I put Reese's butter butter peanut. <laughs> Is that a new invention? Oh man, I played myself. <laughs> Yo, AGT, good looking out. <laughs> Ivana says, "Why am I stumped right now? Not sure I've ever seen you eat candy." What? 
Oh man, that's why I had to ask dessert because there's a different answer for that one. But yeah, for a second I was stumped, and then I was like, "Oh no, never mind, I'm tripping." Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's got to be frozen Reese's cups. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Robbie says, "Uh, is those candy corn things at Halloween?" No, I, I don't really, I don't really go for those. Thank you for talk for the prayers for my mom. Uh, let's see. Please think about adopting a small dog for warmth and company. Uh, I probably will never get a dog for my van because I wouldn't want them to be in like the extreme heat or cold. Uh, and plus I like to go into restaurants and stores. So that's probably out for me. Um, oh, Grant. Okay, wait. So Grant sent me these peach rings. They're like these gummies. They're like Maynard's. I think that's what they're, that's what he's talking about. They're so good. They're like eating a peach gummy. It's just so good. Nah, uh, what what's that? What's that one Canadian dessert? The 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 stroopwafel or something tail? like that? The beaver tail? Oh wait, what? No, beaver tails are on a different level. The stroopwafel thingy, the little like waffle wafer with the with the syrup stuff in the middle. No, that's from like Amsterdam. Oh, well that's that's fire. That one's fire, well, that's too, fire too. Beaver yeah. tails, beaver tails are just Beaver tails are OD. Beaver tails are too good. It's like taking the, all the best parts of a donut and just making it better. <laughs> I mean, beaver tails are just fantastic. Oh, Rachel Jones says Canadian Canada's coffee crisp chocolate bars. I do love that, and I still have coffee crisp bars in my van. It's so good. Um, you talk about eating sweets, but I didn't really know your your sweet spot. Yes, definitely. All right, so the next question is, and this one might be a trickier one. What is my favorite color? Don't put it in the thing yet until Marcus writes it down. No, I'm not. I'm not even looking at it. And also, they're going to be what favorite color? I don't think you know, but maybe you know, but I don't know. Uh. Or like, or a different version of it. I bet you wrote it down, right? Yeah. Okay, don't show it yet. Okay, well, okay uh, we have white, blue, or green. Rob, you can't pick two. You got to pick one. Uh, blue or green. Uh, Tina says purple. Rachel says teal. Vanessa says green. Kylie says blue. Uh, Terry says brown. Uh, oh, we got a few blues. This The thing just scrolled up real quick. Let's see brown uh adriana says blue len lover blue thomas says blue uh favorite color have we discussed this i'll go out on a limb and say blue <laughs> grant says that anyone else want to guess before i ask marcus to reveal his his answer uh Lori says gray anyone else will give 10 more seconds Nana Papa says black. Uh, Robbie says, if Grant says blue, I go green. <laughs> Sherry <laughs> says teal. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Marcus? I got teal or aquamarine. I don't know how to spell that. Uh, Terry Tenacious says yellow. Uh, Marcus is wrong. Marcus is wrong. Janet says red. No, you just changed it so I wouldn't be right. That's this cap. <laughs> It's this cap. Yeah. What, just, what is it? What it's is it? Navy blue. Navy blue. What is it? Well, I mean, yeah, your van is navy blue. So also this thing right here, this live stream screen. No, is this, this is a coincidence. That's that's my this, van is blue. That's coincidence. No, nah, that, that's all a coincidence. I remember you hey, said it says, it was, it's blue, or you will have to repaint your van cabinets. I mean, that's facts. Hey. Well, my bad. I'm my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, that's right. Now I remember navy blue. Tina says, what? <laughs> uh, also, let's... I'm going to... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out this. Because I've been using this Melon app for a little bit, so... That's a different look. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> Robbie. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll do two more because we're already past the hour. Two, two more, two more quick ones, and then we'll wrap it up. Also, before we get to the next question, the next live stream is going to be next Sunday, March thirteenth, four p.m. Pacific, seven p.m. Eastern. Um, so mark that in your calendars. Three p.m. Um, Central Standard Time. What? Three p.m. Central Standard Time. It's not going to be three p.m. if it's four p.m. here. You said, wait, what? What time did you say on the East Coast? Seven. Oh, six o'clock Central Standard Time, all my people. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh man. Hey Gigi, go back to the other view. Uh Terry says my son would you never know mine, Fuchsia. Uh parking garage is have parking garages have elect outlets. I don't know what's elect outlets. Rachel, yes, uh I could take donations after the live stream today. Any donation that comes in today uh will go to the Ukraine efforts. Uh, so you can send it by PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, uh, Zelle, or whatever. And all those links are on the description of all my videos. Um, I'm going to go back to this one because I like this one better. Oh, electrical outlets. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so the next two is... Um, I think Marcus is going to get this and the snack pack's not going to get this. So... I would be very surprised if anybody got this in the snack pack. But what is my favorite band... Oh, that's easy. That's <laughs> true. That's easy. Kylie says, or uh, Robbie says, shout out to the Ukraine efforts. Definitely. Kylie says, mine is taupe and my son's known that since he was two. That's oh. easy. That's that's cake. Shoot. Yeah. I don't know if anybody it's one of knows. my favorites. It's one of my favorites, too. Hey, I know. You know, they, I they know. go they go hard. They go hard. They're, that's don't don't favorite. over. Don't overthink the don't overthink the band aspect is like rock. Don't don't overthink it like that. Yeah. Fire says Green Day. Uh, How are we supposed to know that? He never told us. <laughs> Tiny Bug says Alabama. Uh, Rebel says Dave Matthews. Um, Rachel Jones says, well, so much for Peak Floyd. Uh, uh, Lori says Toby Mac. Terry says Euro Smith. Uh, Adriana says Beatles. Hey, Sulfur for Lunch just subscribed. Welcome to the snack pack. Uh, Janet says Abba. Abba goes hard too, though, but that's not my favorite. Motley Crue, no. I'm no. Abba. Abba. <laughs> uh, any more guesses? Uh, Kylie says a religious group. That's a good guess, but no, it's not a religious group. Uh, Thomas says Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire rocks too. Um, Anyone else want to guess? Give it 10 more seconds. I told y'all I was going to win this one. <laughs> here, here, Here's a hint. R&B. Tiny, here, Tiny here. Book Home just said give a clue. So, yeah. yeah you're going to be, think of R&B male group. Rebecca says Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, OG says, or Iron Butterfly. I don't even know what Iron Butterfly is. Garth Brooks. Rachel, I'm doing a brain blip, but that's allowed at 72. That's true. Uh, AGT says Garth Brooks. Thomas, get a VPN. Send you to Oh, dang. Uh, Fire says NSYNC. Uh, both Rebecca and Patricia say Boys to Men. I do love the Boys to Men. Boys to Men. Boys to Men is probably my top five, but that's not the top one. Uh, oh, HCJ says PM Dawn. PM Dawn was awesome. Uh, Tina says Temptations. Uh, Terry says fish group. Some of these are getting <sighs> jumbled up, but Tina says uh, she doesn't know Iron Butterfly. How do you not know Iron Butterfly, Mom? Like they go so hard. Did you know Iron Butterfly? No, I didn't think so. No. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> this is a fair. Grant's upset. Hey. Tiny Book says Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, Usher's a good one too. It's not a group, but I do love Usher. All for one, Life with Bobby, Backstreet Boys, Hootie and the Blowfish. Okay, none of those are right. The only person that got it right was, well, go ahead, Marcus. I love New Edition. That mint condition. What she, mint what condition, she know about bro. that? Mint condition. Some of you Quit guys are breaking my heart. Come on, bro. Come on now. They don't know. They don't know. New Edition's also probably my top five. Too. Nah, if y'all if y'all need a. Hey. 
if y'all are with your significant other tonight, play some mint condition. Set the mood. Mint condition. They're from the 90s. Ivana got it right because she just knows. And Marcus got it right because he just knows. They're from the 90s. You're going to think that they're like a one-hit wonder because they sing Pretty Brown Eyes. Um, but they've been like my favorite for years. I've seen them in concert like three times. They're like magnificent. The lead singer Stokely is like, his voice is just like bittersweet. It's just, it's just delightful, delightful. Even Vanessa knows my condition is great. Come on now. Patricia, are you assuming my age? <laughs> <laughs> because oh, Marx was raised up on mint condition. I was, I was, I was put on. I, I was put on. Yeah, hey, if you like R and B, if you like R and B and people that know how to play real in instruments, someone to love, Thomas Veteran. Come on now, that's a, that's a, that's the jam. So fine is the best so song. Fine is so but, so fine so fine is a whole music production. It's not even a song. It's like a whole Yeah. <laughs> nah, that goes crazy. Hey, play if, if y'all want to get put on this real quick, play So Fine by Main Condition. That is like that's gonna give you like a uh the spark notes of what they are. You know, you got the instrumentation, you got the singing, you got the it, it's on point. All right, so we're going to do one You're last on question. Adriana, she says she's choosing questions for her baby to win. This is biased. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, y'all, y'all got a dub on me in the last one. Right now it's tied. It's it's two to two. Two to two. Okay. Or, I, no, it's, yeah, it's two to two. It's two to two. You got the candy. You didn't. Get I the got color. candy, and then the band, and then they got the candy and the and the color. Yeah. Well, Ivana got the band too, but Ivana knows me from real life, like. So I don't know, whatever. But okay, the final question is, what is my favorite food? Oof. The snack pack's gonna know that, so don't look up. Uh favorite food. Like not dessert? Not dessert. Like what meal would I choose one like if I had to choose one meal? That's that's not it. That's Justin's. Uh, I don't think I've ever. Ha I don't think I've ever seen you don't just be like. Me. Everybody's already guessed it. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm trying not to. Um, I'm just gonna just go with. This I don't think it's right, but a. Uh... All right. Well, oh yeah, geez, yeah. I had pad thai. Pad thai is up there. Pad thai is up there, but everybody's oh, already God, with the tacos. So good right now, yo! Oh my gosh. And also, I'm having I fried rice tonight, but man, tacos. There's a taco Julie, spot right next to me. Yeah. So good. Julie, I do love empanadas too, and donuts. And I don't know. I'm not what's, what's everybody's favorite kind of taco, though? Yeah. Ivana says Ukrainian food. Just kidding. Pasta. I do love the Ukrainian fruit food that Ivana put me onto, And I do love pasta. Oh, Vanessa says California love burrito or tacos. I do love a good burrito. Yeah. Y'all y'all got me many roads. Y'all y'all got me on that one. What, can, what kind of man would I? Oh, yes, Thomas and tacos. <laughs> What what is that one type of taco called? Oh, fish tacos from Key West. Street tacos with steak, beef or chicken tacos. So oh yeah, fish tacos. Yo, fish tacos are slept on, especially yeah. like if you if you live in California, like near the near the beach or just like any beach city, you go get some fresh fish tacos. Mm. Fire. I would say my favorite taco is gonna sound weird, but I like refried bean tacos. <laughs> I know that's weird. But I don't need a lot of like a lot of meat in my tacos. I don't even care for meat in my tacos. But a bean taco, delicious, and fish tacos is my second. Fish tacos, fish tacos are so good. Especially like the mahi tacos, mahi mahi. Those are really good with like a white sauce. Um, delicious. Where is this one taco spot at? 
Are you going to get tacos? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to remember what the name of the uh, of the meat is that that taco has. Tropo. Trompo. Yeah, trompo tacos. Those are fire. Yeah. Oh man, when I got out to Texas, that was the first time I had that. I didn't care Absolutely for them when we went fire. there. Maybe it was that place we went to when I was in Texas. It was just too spicy. Al Pastor is good. So, yeah. so good. But, yeah, Grant, wow. you don't like refried beans? Hey. I can't. I don't even know if I can look at you right now. I love refried See, beans. I'm trying, I'm trying to get some birria tacos. The like I haven't ever had those, but I see them on TikTok all the time. And I'm like, those look so good. I never had that. It's like it's like they take like this like beef stuff i don't know it's like a big brick of beef and like slow cook it and then they take the shells and like dip it in that and then like fry the shells and then they put like cheese on oh my gosh it, every time like, i see it on tiktok i just get jealous of the person making it to be honest <laughs> that sounds like the most high calorie taco I've heard oh of. it's probably not good for you but like hey you know yeah but one time one time well, go to the gym in the hoodie and really sweat it all out <laughs> Ivana says, I'm combining my answer, pasta tacos. I've never had a pasta taco. Yeah, see, my answer is pizza. My answer is pizza, and it's not even close. Like, Hey, Kathy, Katie. I eat pizza too much. <laughs> hey, Paul. Uh, I could live on refried beans too, Terry. Uh, dash Dash says, oh, I... Oops, I skipped up. Got Some whale blubber? You're going to have to hey. sell me on that one a little bit harder. Like, yo, whale Wait, blubber? I Bring Allison up north and treat her to feed. Of, I don't know about that. Oh, Tracy says, I only had refried beans once in America. They don't do it here. Tracy's in Australia. Um, uh, Thomas, I've had frog legs before. I mean, that's not too, too exotic. Um, I've had calamari before. I've had squid. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't had a whole lot of like exotic things, but like I'd say frog legs, calamari and squid are probably like the most exotic things that I've had, which yeah. isn't calamari octopus. Yeah. Or something like that. So it's well, like calamari yeah, it's kind is, of something. I think it's octopus. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. no, I I am um, I'm a very simple eater. I I find like four foods that I like and I'll just eat that every day for years. <laughs> I've heard of spaghetti tacos, but I never had spaghetti tacos. I'm cooling on that. <laughs> tacos slap, spaghetti slaps, mix them together. I'm not saying that it don't taste good, because I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if I if I squid, bit into a crunchy squid. shelled taco to just bite into some soft noodles, I don't know how that would alligate. See, I gotta go down to Louisiana and start and start. Some of y'all got some good. Alligator ribs. I would love to try that. That'd just be cool to try. That we saw. I'm not. I'm not big on um on shellfish. I had um what's the little things that you get in the the little shell thingies? And you like slurp it. Oh, the the um. What can I think about it? <laughs> Yeah, what 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 is that Oysters. stuff where like it comes in the Oysters. it comes in the Oysters. little shell and you like slurp it up and you get like a hundred of them? Oysters. Yeah, um oof. Uh mm. that mm -hmm. we saw said mm -hmm. I live on a yacht now and I'm in heaven. Um oops, scroll back. No, that'd be a vibe. They are cheap if you buy it in October to February. Doc rent is two hundred a month with free water and Wi Fi. Dang. That's awesome. Uh, yes, my answer is tacos. My favorite meal food is tacos. To confirm that Marcus is wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I lost. Um, because I I knew it wasn't pad thai because that's Justin's favorite food, but I just I couldn't. do love a pad thai. Don't get I me wrong. I couldn't think of it. Yeah, Grant, I'm not I'm not big on the oysters. You know, I, I went to this fancy restaurant and it it was one of those things where like I I, I used to like be real not not really picky, but like. I don't know. I just didn't really eat a whole lot of stuff growing up. And then I'm like trying to be more, you know, trying to broaden my my palate some more. And so I won't knock a food until I've at least tried it once. But yeah, no, oysters were not it at all. At all, at all, at all. Uh, Adrian says, chinchulinas. 
I will show you the, those on the video in May when I come back. But Adriana is my new nomad friend. Uh, if you guys right. haven't already, you should watch the video I did of her minivan tour. She's got a nice setup and we're going to get together uh, in a couple months to to do a caravan. Um, Robbie says, I win. Uh, let's see. Liver and onion seems okay. Uh, Rachel says, Grant, jellyfish and intestines in a Chinese restaurant, but I was tricked into it. Ooh. Um, Diane says, mm, I was swim cat. I don't, I've never even had that. That just sounds good. Barbecue alligator Barbecue ribs. alligator ribs. With the citrus sauce. That does sound good. Yeah, Yo, you trying to do a catch and cook? I would, that would do that. Be fun. Go would go do alligator that. hunting out there. Okay, now I don't know about that. Maybe a fish, but not an alligator. Yo, bring hey, we gotta we gotta be self sustainable out here, you know? We gotta we, we gotta we gotta make sure that how, how else is it gonna get on the plate? <laughs> hey, by professionals, not me. Uh oyster says oyster says Grant says oysters, if you need to swallow them whole and don't taste them, what's the point? Exactly. All right. Well, we've gone over already on the live stream, and I know you guys got things to do. Uh, but how did you guys like the the mystery guest? Uh, did you oh, guys Marius like this, would, but... this type of thing? Because um, I'm gonna have a try to have a mystery guest on every uh, live stream, or at least a majority of them. Maybe I'll do like three mystery guests a month, and then one just without a mystery guest. Uh, but what do you guys think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? What do you think? Paul says thumbs up. Uh, Diane says thumbs up. Kemp and Katie says thumbs up. Kemp and Katie, where are you? Are you in still in Arizona? Marcus is cool, and we do love Marcus. He Appreciate was awesome. it. Appreciate it, everybody. Yeah, everybody give a sh like a shout out and much love to Marcus because he came through. Uh, I was like, hey, you want to be my first guest? And he just was totally good with it and is awesome. This live stream was bomb. Loved it. Uh, Colorado. Okay, cool. Well, maybe I'll be there when I'm up there. Um, this was great. Uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Some good job. Thumbs up. Love you both. Thank you, Janet. Awesome. All right. So, <clears throat> Marcus, you have any final words? Um, Keep your head up, everybody. You know, work every day to become a better version of yourself and do actions that your future self will appreciate. Awesome. You want to say what you see on the end of your live streams? Oh, yeah. So, hey, you know, if nobody has told you this today, I love and appreciate all y'all. You're all amazing. And I'm proud of all the work that you guys are doing. I know life can get tough sometimes. So, you know, proud of y'all for waking up, you know, doing the things you got to do. But if no, if you, if you guys don't know, there's this man, his name is Jesus Christ out there and he loves you very, very much. And so, you know, if I know, like my mom was saying at the beginning of the stream, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Um, and pretty much right now is the time where God's people are going to be even more distinguished from everybody else. And one of the ways that we're going to be distinguished is we are going to be separated from the craziness that happens in the world. So uh, whether stuff's happening in your own personal family, whether stuff's happening to somebody you know or just you personally, know that you can always call upon God. And he loves you so much that all he wants to do is just pour out his love. So cast all your cares, all your anxieties onto him. I'm, te I'm, I'm telling y'all from personal experience, he comes through every single time. Like, Amen. let let God have fun in your life. Let him let him show out a little bit, you know, let him bless you a little bit. So, yeah, I always know that. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, you guys know I feel the same way. Um, and there's all we have a lot of love in the snack pack community. Uh, keep praying for each other. Pray for Ukraine, not just Ukraine, like. The country but pray for the people of ukraine pray for the people of russia pray for the people um just supporting what's going on pray for each other there's a lot of sickness a lot of health issues a lot of personal issues a lot of financial issues a lot of relationship issues and pray for each other support each other call each other up if you have friendships friendships with each other check on your friends uh check on your family um, this channel is about relationships, um, obviously traveling and exploring, but also, you know, connecting with other people. So I appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, thank you for all the donations. Again, all the donations for today are going to go towards, uh, all the efforts for Ukraine. And I really appreciate everyone that donated. Um, and I know my friend Ivana does, I know Grant does too. Um, they're Ukrainian and it just makes a huge difference when we all band together to help each other out. 
Um, I love this. Uh, Dear God, you know the names and you know the needs. Amen. Um, thank you guys for all the prayers. Um, oh, and everybody say hi to Neo. That's uh, this is Marcus's young Neo dog. out here, the best dog yes. in the world. He's the best dog. He's the best dog. Amen, 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 amen. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Uh, so the next one's going to be on March 13th, next Sunday. So in the meantime, you guys have a great day. Um, thank you for all the prayers. And uh, that's going to be it for today. So talk to you on the next one. Bye for now. Peace, everybody. Bye.